Alrighty. Welcome, welcome. I found out that I had a couple more missions I had to do, so we're gonna do those. Uh, we can't, again, we can't do the companions because Bethany News doesn't exist, so I don't know why we have that. Uh, friends in low places. We have to meet this person. It is a main plot, so we're gonna meet this guy. And I'll be quiet in the majority of the video, so I'll see you guys towards the end. It's beginning to all make sense. Do I know you? I know him. I thought Bartrand told you to clear off, Doodle. Calm yourself, Varric. I just wanted to meet your brother's new business partner. That remains to be seen. And that's what I need to talk to you about. Doodle's one of my dear brother's ex-partners. Bartrand turned aside my offer of help, even though I had the coin to spare. Thing is... I still think it's a promising venture. The fool won't let me invest, but if someone like you invested on my behalf... What do you think? Hard to say. Dougal's never done me any harm. See? There you go. Still don't trust you. You're as sour a bastard as my brother without the family connection to make it easier to swallow. Do what you like. I came to you, not to him. But we do need the coin. Bartrand was pretty desperate for help. He must have had a good reason to turn you down. He did. We had a... disagreement. They tried to kill each other. You've met Bartrand, yes? Someone would need the patience of a Bronto not to want to kill him. But what's done is done. Now his pride won't let him take my coin, even if it ruins him. He won't be happy if I do this. He'd lose his mind. Not that it wouldn't be funny to watch. Then why tell him? Bartrand is better off not knowing a lot of things. This way he's happy, you're happy, and I'm happy. We're all happy. Just what kind of terms are we talking about here? I give you what Bartrand needs. Bartrand thinks it's your coin. Then when the expedition's done, you pay me back double. What if I don't have double? This might all be for nothing. If you really think it's such a waste of coin, why go at all? I think double's the very least I could earn back for this kind of investment, don't you? This seems suspicious. <laughs> I'm taking quite a gamble myself. I'm willing to bet you're a good risk. Bartrand obviously thinks so. You care to extend the same courtesy to me? It seems I have no choice. Marvelous! You tell Bartrand that the coin's on the way. I'll have it delivered to him discreetly. Good luck on your expedition, my friend. We shall meet again. It makes me want to pluck them out and wear them as a necklace. I wouldn't suggest trying. Oh, I would never... Not without reason, of course. And forget I said anything. Barak, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Bartrand, so suspicious. I have, in fact, brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid, nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. So we're partners? That depends. You got the coin we need? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. I do have your coin, in fact. You're joking. What did I tell you, Bartrand? Not bad for a human. All right, partner. Full share of the profit between you, me, and Varric. Now we just need a decent entrance into the deep roads. These might be just what we need. What's this? Three? 
four entrances into the deep roads, all in the free marches? Where'd you get these? Didn't I tell you we could find a Grey Warden? Mother didn't raise a fool. Well, she didn't raise two of them. Well, call me astounded. We just picked the most promising one, and go! Time to wrap up any business you have in the city, my friend. We'll be gone for several weeks, at least. Let me know as soon as you're ready, and we'll head out. So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you... I need... So are you ready? It's a long trek. If you have any business you need to wrap up here, you'd better do it now. I'm ready. Let's get started. Then let's not waste any more time. We've chosen one of the hidden entrances. The deep roads there will be nice and virginal, ready for a good deflowering. Ha! <laughs> now there's an interesting image. It'll take a week for us to get to the depth we need. There are bound to be leftover dark spawn from the blight. Big risks, big rewards. We shouldn't be taking any needless risks. This isn't a foolish endeavor. This will work. Now, before... Wait. Who invited the old woman? I'm sorry to interrupt, Sir Dwarf. But I need to speak with my children. Mother, no. We talked about how important this is. I just want to know one thing. Are you planning on taking Carver with you? I can't leave Carver behind. I need him. I'm going. It'll be fine. It's not fine. You can't both go. What if something will happen to you? You, I understand, wanting to do this. Leave your brother here, I beg you. I said I'm going. Besides, if we're so bloody afraid of Templars, I should go and she should hide. Well, you're not gonna be able to take everyone anyhow. You'll need to decide. I beg you, don't go. Don't do this. Don't worry about me, so. I can take care of myself. You'll see. Personal drama over with? Now let's get underway. Been a long time coming, eh, brother? That it has. The deep roads await! No, this can't be right. The champion was an apostate who came to Kirkwall to spread subversion against the Chantry. But you claim this wasn't the case. The champion just happened to have dealings with the Canari, joined forces with a known raider, a blood mage, a rebel warden, and for what? Coin? Maybe it's not as simple as you imagine, Seeker. Simple? Do I need to remind you what your friends did? Do I need to tell you how many lives have been lost? How many more will be lost? You cannot sit there and tell me she is innocent! I don't know if innocent is the right word, exactly. She must have known. Somehow the Champion knew what was down there. That's why she wanted to join your expedition. No. None of us knew. If we had, she wouldn't have let her brother step foot into that blighted hole. Is that so? Then tell me your version of what happened on this expedition. Well, we entered the Deep Roads as planned, but... We didn't get very far. There's been a collapse. The way forward is blocked. What? Is there some way around? Not that I've been able to find. The side passages are too dangerous. You 
useless! What am I paying you blighters for? Shit camp! <laughs> Problems, brother? Sodding deep roads. Who knows how long it'll take to clear the path. Shall we not try to find a way around instead? Seems like the logical choice. You think I'm an idiot, Farrakh? The scouts say the side passages are too dangerous. We need to do something. Sitting out here in the open is just as dangerous. We'll take a look. If we come running back, screaming, you'll know staying put was the right decision. Fine, fine. Find a way around. Just do it quickly. This is why I left the Wardens. I hate the blighted deep roads. Ah, I hate to add to your burdens, my friends, but I fear I must. I fear my boy Sandal wandered off. He's somewhere in those passages right now. I beg you, keep an eye out for him. He just doesn't understand danger like he should. One man out there alone. What are his chances? Well, my boy is sturdier than you think. If he has one of his enchantments with him, he'll survive. He's burned down a house twice by accident. I'm more worried about him getting lost. Oh, my poor boy. When did you last see him? Not a half hour ago, I turned my back to hand out rations and he was gone. He gets so easily distracted. Oh, I should have been harsher with my warnings. We need to search the side passages. We'll bring him back if we can. Poor Sandal. I can't believe he's done this. Let's move quickly then. I might be able to give you a hand with that. Foxy is by. If the Darkspawn claim this is home, I say we take it like they took ours.
Duke's uncle. Isn't that Bodan's boy? It is. The great warrior stands victorious. Are you injured? How did you do this? Boom! And how did you do that? Not enchantment. Smart boy. Come on. We still need to find a way past that collapse. Stay still and try not to make any loud noises. <laughs>
this goes right where we want it to. Let's go back and tell Bartrand. He'll be so pleased. Bartrand! We found a way around your damned cave-in. It's about time. Let's move out! Is this what you were expecting? I thought. An abandoned dive, something old, but... What is this? How did you even know it was here? Old scavenger tales. After the third blight. A week below the surface, they said. But nobody believed them. Looks like they were right. Make camp here! We need to look around. Get it. Nothing in this tide makes sense. Why's that? We're well below the deep roads. Whatever dwarves lived here, they came long before the first blight. But where are the statues of paragons? I don't recognize these markings on the wall or anything in the rubble. Who knows how old these ruins are? Maybe your people were different back then. I know enough about our history to know we haven't changed much. Dwarves have admired in tradition for many ages. These dwarves might have been unique. If so, I hope they kept their valuables close at hand. This place better be worth it. So you all found what you were looking for? Is this it? You found him! I can't believe it! You found him! Hello? I owe you a great debt. I will repay it somehow. I swear my life on it. No need. I'm glad Sandal was all right. Because of you. You will not regret this. Say thank you to the nice lady for saving your life, Sandal. Thank you. Enchantment? My boy's quite good at it. Does any of your equipment require enchanting? Not right now. Whoa. Whatever's through there, it seems still intact. Think we'll find anything? Bartrand is far more enthralled with this place than you are. Unlike him, I wasn't born in Orzammar. I wouldn't even be down here if there wasn't profit in it. This entire place gives me the chills. Let's hope it's worth it. Whatever we find, it might not be very pleasant. Hmm. <laughs> I suppose we'll need to go down there to find out.
you see what I'm seeing? Is that... Lyric? It's definitely magic. And not the good kind. Doesn't look like any kind of lyrium I've ever seen. Look at this, Bartran. An idol made out of pure lyrium, I think. Could be worth a fortune. You could be right. Excellent find. Not bad. We'll take a look around. See if there's anything further in. You do that. The door! Bartrand! It's shut behind you! <laughs> you always did notice everything, Varric. Are you joking? You're going to screw over your own brother for a lousy idol? Not just the idol. The location of this tiger alone is worth a fortune. And I'm not splitting that three ways. Sorry, brother. Bartrand! Bartrand! Do I swear I will find that son of a bitch? Sorry, mother, and I will kill him! Oh, let's hope there's a way out of here.
enough. You have proof of your metal. I would not see these creatures harmed without need. You're the first one here that hasn't simply attacked us. They will not assault you further, not without my permission. What are these things? They seem like rock wraiths, but... They hunger. The profane have lingered in this place for ages beyond memory, feeding on the magic stones until the need is all they know. Delirium? That's what sustains them. I am not as they are. I am a visitor. It seems mostly interested in their hunger. It's a demon come to feed. I would not see my feast end. I sense your desire. You seek to leave this place, but you will need my aid to do so. Don't do it. Demons will trip you up every time. Could be a way out of here. I don't know. What are our options? Why do we need your aid to leave? There is another door that leads into the paths far above us. That is what you seek. It has been sealed, however, and cannot be opened without a key. I know where the key is. Do as I ask, and I shall tell you. So what do you think? We're not dealing with a demon. Most unwise. What is this place? This is the vault. The dwarves would have brought there.
Whew. The rock rakes are supposed to be dwarven legends. They're not even supposed to be real. Looked pretty real to me. I suppose it doesn't matter. Look at what it was guarding. Let's see if there's something that can help us get out of here. Key. The kind that opens the doors, I hope. Let's collect the best pieces we can carry out of here and then go. Hmm. I'd say this is our way back. How long to get back? If we're unlucky, maybe a week. And if we're lucky? We stumble over Bartrand's corpse on the way. <laughs> this part of the deep roads looks familiar. We're back where we started, and in only five days. Not bad, eh? Think we could take a break? I feel wrong. Let's make camp if you're sick. I'll wager it was those deep mushrooms we found. No. It's... Carver! It's the Blight. I can sense it. Just like that Templar, Wesley. I'll be just as dead. Just as gone. There must be some other way. I'm not going to make it. Not to the surface. Not anywhere. It's getting worse. There might be something we can do. I stole the maps from a warden that had come to Kirkwall. I wanted to know if he was looking for me. He wasn't. The maps were for planning their own expedition into the deep roads. Does that mean the Grey Wardens are here? If the Wardens are here, I know where. We could bring Carver to them. And what? Become a Grey Warden. Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, I suppose it is. But it's not without a price. One not everyone is willing to pay. What price? Maker's breath, spit it out. The process of becoming a Warden is... unpleasant. And irreversible. It also means you might never see your brother again. He might survive the Blight but at the cost of becoming a Grey Warden. It's not an easy life, trust me. What about you? You're not a Grey Warden anymore? You think I got away? Eventually they or the Circle will drag me back. I've got no illusions about that. Is becoming a Grey Warden a cure? Yes, but it's not without a price. One not everyone is... Is this even possible? How does someone become a Grey Warden? I can't tell you. But it's not something you can undo once it's done. Even if you want to. This just keeps sounding better and better. They might agree to it, however. That's if we can find them in time. If there's even a chance, we must take it. Then I hope I'm right. Hmm. What's wrong? I think they're nearby. Or it could be Darkspawn.
Anders. Fancy meeting you here, Stroud. I could say the same. I thought you were through fighting Darkspawn. I'm not here to fight Darkspawn. I came looking for you. You mean, the boy as a recruit? Of course you do. I'm sorry. I know this comes as no comfort to you, but we do not recruit Grey Wardens out of pity. It is no kindness. You think it's kinder to let Carver die from the Blight? Sometimes it is. Yes. Stroud, trust me when I say this one is worth your time. With the Blight over, you Wardens don't have recruits lining up. This is no simple thing, Anders. This may be as much a death sentence as the sickness, and you know it. He'll die anyway. Take him and try. I'm asking you. If the boy comes, he comes now, and you may not see him again. Being a Grey Warden is not a cure. It is a calling. Are you sure about this? I wish it hadn't worked out this way. We must move quickly if we are to make the surface in time. Then, I guess this is it. Take care of Mother. Home, sweet home. Finally. Oh, I wonder if Bartram came back to the city. You think I'd be that lucky? Revenge isn't exactly the most pressing thing on my mind right now. I know. I'm sorry about what happened to your brother. He'll make it. Carver's stronger than he thinks. I should have seen Bartram's betrayal coming. I'll find that maggot if it's the last thing I do. I imagine you'll be heading home to, uh, tell the family. I don't have much choice. You'll be a wealthy woman, Hawk. It wasn't all for nothing. Oh, my baby! You made it home! Carver is with you. No. Is he coming back? I don't know. <laughs> so the champion's brother was a Grey Warden. Yes, but that's not the connection you're looking for. Isn't it? The involvement of the Grey Wardens makes perfect sense. And the champion's companions? Meryl, Aveline, Isabella, that Warden Anders. Don't remind me. I introduced them. We thought they all came from Ferelden together, but now it makes sense. Motive and opportunity. It's still not what you think. Then I need to hear more. Unless you've already decided. I can always go if you don't need me anymore. Tell me what came next. The treasure we found in the deep roads made us a fortune. The champion moved up in the world, literally. Bought a mansion in Hightown. Everyone knew who she was now. Even the Viscount was taking notice. The Grey Wardens left Kirkwall. It was months before we learned Carver survived. Three years later, the Kunari still hadn't left. The Kunari insisted they were waiting for their ship. But some of us knew better.
compound was not meant to be permanent. There are concerns the Kunari influence is no longer contained. Was it ever? Kirkwall has tension enough between Templar and Mage, but these Kunari, they sit like gargoyles waiting for Maker knows what and everyone goes mad around them. Nearly four years I've stood between fanatics. And now, this. Don't keep us in suspense. Leave us. Meredith at my throat, Orsino at my heels, and a city scared of heretical giants. Balance has held because the Conari ask for nothing. Even the space in Lowtown was a gift to contain them. But now, the Arishok has requested you. By name. What did you do? I got his attention a couple of times. I guess I impressed him, but that was years ago. It makes no sense. And it doesn't matter. I just need them quiet. I remember how you helped my son. It seems you are meant to have influence above your station. Speak to the Arishok. Give him what he needs to keep the peace. Can you do that for Kirk Wall, Sarah Hawk? I've seen hate for them, but I haven't heard anything major in years. Zealots are bravest where their lies can't be argued, behind closed doors. Chantry leaders see Konari beliefs as a challenge, not an attack. But the message gets muddled among casual adherents. I'm certainly not equipped to argue the fine points of faith. Have the years been kind to Seamus? He is his own man. But your actions tempered him somewhat. He's not so angry at the world. I thank you for that. I may not agree with him on many things, but uh, I am proud of what he is becoming. The Canari usually arrive as conquerors. Odd that this has gone on so long. Very, and I have no interest in antagonizing them. That is partially why I suffer being a messenger today. A treaty exists, and it has been honored. Although... Uh, you have doubts? They claim they're waiting for a second ship. But it has been three years. They want something else. Sounds like you'd be better off without this headache. They will not leave, and we don't have the resources to force the issue. At least, not in a way that would leave the city intact. If they had come to conquer, I suspect they would have done so. I'm always willing to assist. Well, that is an attitude this city has lacked for a long time. Appease the Arishok. Take his demand and let him return to dormancy. As awkward as this has been, it is better than the alternative. It's heading for a fall. I know it is. Oh, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you, Messiah. If only you humans didn't all look the same. I was called to the keep on important business, Bowden. Yes. I was hoping to catch you before you arrived. Uh, there, there's a, a, a gentleman waiting at the mansion. He insists on seeing you. He says his name is Dougal. Your mother thought him wise, I tell you, Monsieur. I paid Dougal years ago. Why would he be back now? He wouldn't tell me, I'm afraid. He refused to come back another day, even after I told him repeatedly that I didn't know when you would return. He doesn't really seem like the most reputable sort, I'm afraid, even for a dwarf. You left him alone in the mansion with Mother. My boy Sandal is with her. But, uh, you make a good point. I'll run back right away. Uh, before I go, may I simply say how great that you've allowed my boy to stay in your home. I said I would repay you for saving Sandal's life, 
and I shall serve you faithfully. It is good to know he is safe. I didn't ask you to be my manservant, Bowden. But I owe you a debt, and after what happened in the Deep Roads, I have no other way to repay you. I'll leave you to your business. Don't forget about your guest. Your mother claims he was iron the silverware. You've settled in nicely. It's been hard work to get here. Indeed. Still, more coin never hurts, right? Say, if someone wanted to pass some work your way... I'm listening, Aveline. What's the trouble? A thorn in my side, inventing trouble and scaring people. Remember Emmerich, the Templar? He wants your help. ...and some sort of official sanction. Official sanction? For his... ...investigation. He's convinced that every random murder in the past few years is connected... ...and he won't be quiet. You don't think it's worth investigating? I have. He even convinced one of my lieutenants to raid the Dupuis mansion. Nothing there. You wouldn't believe how much ass I had to kiss after that... ...bloody hobbyist constable. Why can't he spend his declining years building a boat or something? Seems like it should be easy to prove if there are bodies. Kirkwall isn't the safest place. That doesn't mean everything terrible is related. There's no sense to that. Can't be. I seem to recall he had some good leads. Then you won't mind chasing his threads. If it leads somewhere, I'll pick it up. Right now, he's just distracting my men. He's in the gallows. Do what you can. Thanks, Hawk. I'll try not to make a habit of this. Why, hello again. Lovely home you have here. And may I say your mother makes for delightful company? He hasn't been bothering you, has he? I'll be less bothered when he leaves. My apologies, Sarah. Your daughter and I simply have a bit of business to conclude. I'll leave you two alone, then. Be careful. Darling woman. A shame that she spends so much time here. Alone. She fills her days making poisons. And cake. Tell me you didn't try the cake. <laughs> Good thing I just had the tea then. Allow me to get right to the point. I know all this came from Deep Road's treasure. I know you repaid me, but I think I deserve a larger share of your fortune. Fair's fair, right? a conversation we should have had, say, three years ago? What can I say? Things have gone poorly for me and I'm a bitter man. Give me another, oh, hundred sovereigns and I'll go away. If you don't, I'll make things unpleasant. Simple enough, no? What do you mean by that? Well, let's see. I think people would like to know just what happened to Bartrand, wouldn't they? I know he betrayed you, but nobody else does. Your partner disappears, and you end up rich. The 
hasn't been a single question asked about that. Yet. Questions could be asked. Uh, about you, about your red-headed friend in the city guard, about your sudden riches. Help me out, and my friends in the Carta will make sure the evidence I have never sees the light of day. There's no evidence. There couldn't be. Does it have to be real? I think it just has to raise enough questions. How badly do you want the eyes of the Templars upon you? Not very, I'll wager. And what's going to keep you from coming back for more? Have it your way, Hawk. We'll be seeing each other again, I'm sure. People's laws of Kirkwall. A friendly reminder from Aveline. Alrighty. Um, that is all I have for this episode. Um, we're gonna talk to a lot of people, probably do these quests, uh, side quests. Holy hell, there's a lot. Um, so we're going to be doing all of these. Probably in between episodes here, so we can just get things rolling here. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you.